Go ahead, pause this video, and try this SAT chemistry question. The SAT chemistry test is designed to be broad rather than deep, so it often covers a lot of topics and things that you may not have covered even in your AP chemistry class, much less in a you know, honors or regular chemistry class. So for that reason, sometimes you're going to get questions that you're not going to know the answer to. But what you want to do on those questions is make your best educated guess. And so when you're desperate, sometimes you can use the following strategy to at least help you eliminate, if not, as is the case in this one, to get you to the answer. So which of the following oxides can dissolve in water to form a solution that would turn litmus indicator red in color? First, this is a factoid. So if uh, you're a member of my site, you'll have uh, uh, access to the factoid list. There's these little facts that the SAT chemistry test likes to uh, test you on constantly. And one of them is this, that when you mix a non-metal oxide and water, you get an acid. So which one is the only non-metal oxide here? Well, it's actually, there's two. It's C and E, CO2 and H2O. But you can't dissolve water into water and get an acid. That just doesn't make any sense. So you can get rid of E safely there, and you're down to C. And in fact, when you mix carbon dioxide and water, you get carbonic acid, also known as soda water, right? Which is slightly acidic. Okay, let's pretend though you didn't know that. Let's pretend you didn't have the factoid sheet or you just never learned it or whatever. Could you solve this question without it? And you could. And the tactic you can use here is look for the different choice. And what do I mean by that? You look at the five choices and you say, okay, which one of these is different from the rest in some significant way? So first, again, we can get rid of E because it doesn't make any sense to dissolve water into water and then get an acid, right? Turning litmus indicator red, that means acid. Uh, but it doesn't make any sense to uh, do that, to dissolve water in water and get an acid. It just doesn't make logical sense at all. So we can get rid of E. So we're down to these four choices. We look at these four choices and we say, are there any differences here? Well, we see that K has two Ks, but that's just because it's plus one and you need two to go with an oxygen at minus two and you have two oxygens. I guess that's a difference, but that's not really much of a significant difference. But if you look at C, there is quite a difference in the sense that this C is a non-metal oxide. In other words, it's got a non-metal in it, carbon. Whereas the other three, magnesium, potassium, and zinc, are all metals. So we've seen, okay, three of these are metals with an oxygen. One of these is a non-metal with an oxygen. If we're going to make a guess, it's a good idea to go with C because it's the one that's different. And yes, it turns out to be the answer because as we've discussed, a non-metal oxide plus water gives you an acid, whereas a metal oxide plus water gives you a base. So it totally makes sense in this case why the one that's different would be the answer because it's basically what the question's testing. So here's a case where you can use this desperate tactic to look for the different choice to at least get a really good guess. And in this case, it gets you the answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.